Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going over my favorite pair of sunglasses this summer. So as you guys know, I own a ton of different sunglasses, so I have a rotation, so I'm wearing a new pair of sunglasses every single day. But every now and then there's something that comes along that I call a disruptor pair of sunglasses that comes in and really ruins my rotation of sunglasses. Now these disruptor sunglasses don't come along very often because they have to be so good that it prevents me from wearing or trying out anything else but this summer it was the Randolph Yeager sunglasses. These sunglasses really came in and just destroyed every other pair of sunglasses that I owned. As far as build quality goes, these really are fantastic. They are made in USA. The hinges feel really good when opening up and when closing them. And they also have these really nice lightweight lenses that you can wear all day long without any discomfort. They have fully adjustable nose rests. They do have polarized lenses. And as far as looks go, I think Randolph absolutely knocked out of the park with these. I found myself picking up these sunglasses time and time again versus any other pair of sunglasses that I have in my collection. And the more I wore these sunglasses, the more I really truly fell in love with them. In my opinion, these are just a perfect daily bowl pair of sunglasses. They have that aviator style to them, but they are much more narrow or thin than the traditional Ray-Ban aviators or even Randolph Concord sunglasses. And that gives them a really cool and unique look to them. And I also love the fact that they have this really cool double bridge style and that the second bridge here is flat where normally a pair of aviator sunglasses has a little little uh, hump to it. These sunglasses also feature a very nice slim down bayonet temple style, which is extremely comfortable and makes wearing these sunglasses super easy. One of my favorite pair of sunglasses ever were the Over People's Benedict sunglasses, and these also look really good on face, but these Jaeger frames look very similar to these, but they're much more robust and much more dalyable than these Benedict sunglasses are. So the Over People's Benedict have all glass lenses that really weigh them down and make them not too comfortable in wearing them for long periods of time. Those have these very small nose rests which can kind of dig in with their heavy lenses after wearing them for long periods of time. They also have these really cool looking temples here, but after a while, again, they kind of dig into the side of the head and because of that, these sunglasses are not really dalyable. Also, the price tag on these is $500, and they are much more fragile than the Jaeger frames. And all of that put together really makes for a pair of sunglasses that I love, but I'm not going to wear every single day. Now, when it comes to buying a pair of sunglasses, I have a very important rule that says if I own a frame, I will not buy it in another colorway. Now, I came up with that rule because there are a ton of beautiful frames that I love and a ton of beautiful colorways. And as a sunglass reviewer, I try my best to try out all the frames rather than limiting myself to one frame and just buying a ton of different colorways of that frame. Obviously, that wouldn't be entertaining for YouTube. But with this pair, I actually broke my rule and I bought another colorway. This colorway has 23 karat gold-plated frames with these beautiful autumn sunset lenses. And ever since buying these, I really can't get enough of these either. So right now I'm in a cycle where I'm either wearing these or these and nothing else, which of course is not really good, but I really think that goes to show how much I truly love these Randolph Jaeger frames. I think Randolph absolutely knocked out of the park. If you guys do want to see my full review over these frames, I will have a link description down below and also up here in the information card where I go in depth into the lens quality and the technology behind these frames and I think that video is really going to help explain why these sunglass frames are so good. Well, that's about it for this video. I know you guys are always asking me what my favorite pair of sunglasses are, and right now it definitely has to be these Randolph Jaeger frames. I've been wearing them all summer, and I'm probably not gonna stop anytime soon, even though I have hundreds of different sunglasses sitting in the sunglass cabinet. If you guys are interested in current pricing and availability, I'm going to have a link in the description below where you guys can check out both these frames directly on Randolph's website, and they also come in another colorway that I promised myself I'm not going to buy but I might end up buying it. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, I'm going to have a link description below, like I said, directly to Randolph, where you guys can check out these sunglasses on their website. Like I said, they're around $279, but I think they are well worth the money. Randolph also has a great warranty if anything does happen to them. And Randolph also has a tuna program. So if your sunglasses get a little bit old and beat up, you can send them out. I think it's like $15. They'll give them a full tune up, they'll put new nose rest and address any issues that you have with them. But if you need something like a lens replacement, they might charge you a little bit more, but they do have a tune-up service and Randolph actually does care about the quality of their products. Well, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video, just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.